What's up guys and gals and welcome to the special episode um, where I'll be showing you what I want to give away to my subscribers. And I decided to give away a poker deck. Um, I have a few to choose from. And there are a few things you need to do and number one is you need to be subscribed. And number two is I need to be able to see your subscription. And in order to do that, um, I will link to a video, it's just a one minute video on how to put your settings uh, in, in a way oh, that, here, yeah, this is the video on how to change these settings. Um, it's pretty simple. Let me show you the important part here. Quick settings. Yeah, let's the have a look menu, at this. Like privacy. Under likes and subscriptions. Check or check the box for keep all my subscriptions private. Yeah, I think that's it. The reason I uh, need you to do this is otherwise I cannot verify it if you're subscribed or not. And I have a list of my subscribers. Right now it's only like I, I'm seeing 40 or 50, even though I have over 150 subscribers. Um, so you need to do that. And then I want you to post a comment on which deck you want if you win. Below this video, um, not any other video, I will just check for everyone posting a comment on this video and then I will use random.org. It's a nice website. I think it's random.org, but you will see in the final announcement video where I announced the winner um, to determine I will use a number from all the subscribers I have visible. Let's say it's 60. Then I choose a random number. Well, I, I ask the random number generator to generate a number between 1 and 60. And I will pick a winner depending on the number corresponding to the subscriber. Um, if it's a subscriber that hasn't posted below this video, I will redo until I get a number of one of the subscribers, one of you guys and girls posting below this video. And now let me show you what I want to give away. Like I said, I have some decks to choose from. Um, there's two Pokestars decks you can choose from. They were each of these decks is a limited edition. Um, they were you were able to purchase them with your frequent player points um, a few years back not too long ago but yeah I used all my frequent player points for some stupid merch stuff including these decks and they are completely unopened they so they're in kind of original shape they're not in best shape but that's how they arrived here like the edges are not perfect so if you want to I think you can grade these if you're totally into collecting um, they probably wouldn't score the highest, but they are still in good shape. I mean, I traded them well. And I have it in white and I have it in black. You can choose. I will tell you which number corresponds to what. It, I also put a big message below this video where you can read everything that you need to do. It's, it's not so difficult. And um, which deck corresponds to which number. So the comment I want you to post below this video is just... Um, which which deck you want to choose. I don't know, you write something like, um, if I win, I would like to have deck number one or number four or number five, because I have five options for you to choose from. Um, you can also add more comments, but make it clear that you want to be part of this giveaway and which deck you want. So this is in black and white. And then I have these two which you can choose from. So you only have one option, but I give five you can choose from. Um, these both, I think, were from a Kickstarter that I su supported a while back, a different Kickstarters. And I think they are pretty cool decks. So each card has its own design. And the good thing is you can have a look at the cards in a second because I have everything also in an opened version, but these are also unopened, um, I think, Mm, let me see. No, they do, they are not numbered. Are they? No, these are not numbered. But uh, they are definitely limited. And you can also choose from this one. Um, the reason I'm including it, it's the same kind of as these. It's the same design, but it's a double deck. But it's already opened. So if you want to open it anyway, I probably and you want the Pokestars, I would advise you choose this one because you get two decks but it's already opened. So if you just just want to collect the stuff and I don't know, resell or just collect it and maybe open in 10 years, 
then you probably should choose the other ones because they are originally sealed. But these are already opened and I already had my hands on it. And I will show you each design of the cards. Like um, so, these are these are white and red, and but you can only choose if you want a single deck from white and black. Um, but the card design, no matter if it's white, red, or black, is all the same. This is the bags. I uh, hope you can see it well. And we have the usual blah blah cards that nobody uses. The chokers that no real pocus player cares about, but their design is kind of good, I think. And then we have the Ace of Spades, which usually in every deck gets kind of some special attention regarding design and detail. And then we have the normal, normal low cards and each um, face card has its own design, so this is the Jack, the Queen, and the King, and I'm not even sure if each design is different. Let me have a quick look for the different uh, kind of colors. But even the, which is not a thing you usually see, even the other aces got some special design, which is kind of cool. And what's also interesting, something I want to show you, these cards are smaller. So the height is like a normal poker deck size and they are plastic cards. So, but um, the, their channel size, their width is slightly smaller than a normal card. So if you compare it to this one, it's, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it's like missing half a centimeter or like, I don't know, one tenth of an inch, one sixth of an inch or something, I don't know. Um, that's something to note, so if for some reason you need the normal poker size deck, you probably shouldn't choose the poker stars one. Let me see if I can do a nice shuffle here. Well, that was kind of lame, but <laughs> trying my best. Um, yeah, so let's see if the face cards are actually different for different um, suits. So, no, uh, yeah, slightly different. That's nice. So, for example, you have the jack here. They look very similar, but if you look closely, they are, they have some difference in detail. So yeah, that's the one option. Um, I will make this num option number one. Um, well, but before we go ahead, let me reduce the sound here. Okay, that's a little too loud. Uh, anything else? I like to have some relaxing music in the background, but okay, this is good. So this would be option number one, but I, like I said, it's all in the description. Uh, I hope you don't mind this long video, but I want to show you these two, like the cards, because I have an open version, you will get the closed one. Um, so I hope YouTube doesn't censor this because you can see things here, like very, nude stuff well here at least the boobs <laughs> are hidden but i think maybe on this queen oh you can see a nipple so youtube likes to i don't know doesn't like the stuff for some insane reason but i i don't know if, if they care about about artworks on on poker cards so the general design this is the back and this days of diamonds which is kind of cool, they have black. Do they have black diamonds? What the heck, I didn't even realize. Um, yeah, so everything is black except for the hearts. So that's kind of very unusual. These are just the normal di diamond cards, which are black. It could be confusing, but I think this definitely has some very cool art style. I'll just look at the design of these, the king and the jack. Um, and can let me show you one or two more cool cards. <laughs> well, it's kind of funny, but also the queen of hearts. Not exactly what I imagine a queen of hearts to be, but well, why not? And the, the number cards are just kind of normal. They have a slight design there, as you can see some shading. Um, 
Something else that's cool. Mm, yeah, I think so. I mean, the King of Hearts is kind of cool. I think all the face cards look good, so. Yeah, let's have a look at these two. Oops. Yeah, so this is this deck. Um, if you want this, this would be number two. Let me put it back. Yeah. And. Well, actually, no, it will not be number two, so. This will be number two, the black focus dust deck, and the white is number three, and the one I just showed you, this one is number four. And this would be number five, Italia Mag Magica, Magica. And what's really special about these cards is their back. Uh, I don't know if it doesn't show too well, but it's real, like, not real silver, but it's a real metallic coating, which looks mega nice and real. Uh, it's a little bit too bright, I think, my light here, but you can see by the reflectiveness, this is this looks really metallic. It's, a, it's generally a nice flowery design here, um, but with the silver, it's, I think, very special. I don't like the face cards as much um, as here on the betrayers but the back on these is the best um so well but it's i think a matter of taste um these are the chokers i think yeah the chokers some ladies which is unusual but why not have a female choker that's pretty cool and they both look different this is the ace of spades kind of a matter of taste and it's also hard to see it has also like a slight metallic look it's kind of a grayish metallic finish which is kind of cool and there's some fine details it's yeah now you can see it i think um, like some flowery stuff going on in white on this very light gray pretty cool um the normal number cards are kind of normal but have you ever seen this pattern i i haven't and so same for the seven here pretty cool um, and yeah, for example, this is the Jack of Spades, again, a woman. I think it's very woman, women dom dominated here. I don't see any male so far. This is our Queen of Spades and this is the King of Spades. Uh, maybe it's a guy, but for me it looks quite female. <laughs> um, so that's that. Years of Diamonds, nothing special here, but let's have a look at the face cards again. And again, looking pretty female dominated here, which is nice. Like I said before, there are not enough women in poker, so why not have them on each face card? And yeah, let me show you more face cards, just so you can make an educated decision on which deck to choose. Yeah, actually, all women, I, I didn't even notice before, I didn't, yeah. Well, I don't know, is this a woman? Well, uh, you decide. Um, and lastly, the hearts, let me also show you the hearts. King of hearts, queen of hearts, yeah, it doesn't totally hit my taste but it's still well designed and very very unique like I said the silver will be an eye-catcher if you're doing magic or some sleight of hand stuff flourish stuff these cards would be quite awesome if you don't open them you don't even see it because the box itself doesn't have the metallic finish even though it might look in the slide like it it looks quite good in real also but uh, doesn't have the real metallic like the back of these cards but you will get it closed so you can decide if you want to open the box or just collect it resell it whatever yeah so that's it these are your four options once again number one double double deck from PokerStars um, also limited to something I don't remember maybe 1000 or 500 maybe less I don't think so um, it's opened. It's the only one that's opened. This is choice number one. 
And now I already forgot, but I think black was choice number two. Unopened, same design as the ones I showed you from the open deck. Number three is this one, same design again, but white, unopened. Number four is the Betrayers. Very cool deck, um, maybe not safe for work design, depends on your workplace. And last but not least, the Magica Italia with silver bag. So, make your choice, leave your comment, and yeah, make sure you have every setting in a way that I can see you're actually a subscriber. And what I will be doing is uh, make another video, which should be quite quick, where I just quickly select a winner, and then I will make a post where there's an email. You send me an email with your address. You can even use, I will show you, but a, a service that, so I don't have your address saved. It will be just, it's called PrivNote or Pastebin or something. So I have like a note that I can open, but I can only view it once. I will write down your address. Then I answer to your email and I give you a code. And that one you need to post below the next video where I, where I announce the winner. And the reason is I need to verify that the email I got actually is associated with you as a subscriber. The, otherwise, anyone could send me an email and not even be subscribed. It's just an extra step, but it's not too much work. And you're sending me an email anyway because I need your address. So that's that. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you like the decks. Let me know what you think, if this is an okay giveaway. Just wanted to have a nice tiny thank you for all my subscribers and I appreciate all of your comments. And yeah, that's it for now. Good luck at the tables and see you guys and girls very, very soon.